Hi, in this tutorial, we'll see how to make a security system using a PIR sensor and a buzzer. First, uh, let's we look into our circuit diagram. So here we have a PIR sensor and a buzzer. I've connected the buzzer uh, to a 7th pin of Arduino Mega and the PIR sensor output to the 8th pin of Arduino Mega. So this is our circuit diagram. Let's see how to program for this in our MATLAB Simulink. So here you can see that I have connected a PIR sensor to Arduino Mega physically and the buzzer is connected to the 7th pin. Another pin of buzzer is connected to the ground of Arduino Mega. So go to Simulink library and search for Simulink support package for Arduino hardware and go to a uh, new model I have connected my um, so I have connected my PR sensor to the 8th pin of Arduino Mega so already uh, the default uh, pin is 8 here so I'm leaving this as the same and the buzzer I have connected to the 7th uh, pin so I have to change this pin number 9 to 7 here press OK and connect this to go to go to sinks and pick a scope or uh, anything you want connect it here and again go to the digital pin there is no change here so leave it as it is so that's it our program is completed here and change this to external and the timing to infinite so before that we have to configure our prepare to run so I'm going to go to tools search run on target and click prepare to run here and just select the board as Arduino Mega click OK so once you prepare the configure for the run on your target board um, make sure you change this to external it is not in normal or any other option that you have selected so select it as external and run the program here it is running So this is how you can make your own security alarm. So now the code is not. Uh, so here you can see that the code is communicating with our Arduino Mega. You can also see in the scope. So there is no data passing from the sensor. So I'm going to once again. Uh, show my hand near to our, my sensor so here you can see the changes and let's come back to zero position here I'm gonna close this so if I want to uh, permanently store this code into my hardware all I have to do is to stop this program and deploy the code to my hardware just click the deploy button so here you can see the code is uploading to our hardware so it's over now so it's working perfect so here you can see that there is no communication between my simulink to my Arduino board here so the uh, code that I have created here is deployed to the hardware so whenever there is a intruder so we'll get a buzz sound so that's it for this tutorial